Intention Beads, Believe and Achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. We have big moves taking place in the sky with planets changing directions. And for you, I am incredibly inspired by and looking forward to the fact that in the middle of the month, Jupiter in your sign will go direct. Late in the month, Saturn in your sign will go direct. And what this tells me is that something within you is going to feel like you are ready to move forward. Jupiter, of course, is all about blessings and how it is that you want to now move forward is going to create a momentum of blessings. And Saturn, of course, is about structure. You have hosted Saturn in your sign for the better part of the last oh, two and a half years or so now. And you did get a little bit of a break over the course of the spring. However, now is the final stretch. As Saturn goes direct, will be in your sign right into December before leaving your sign for good not to return for well over two decades ahead. So this is the moment where it starts to become more clear what it means to have an eye towards the larger picture, to feel stable, to feel secure, to feel sure with yourself and right where you are. There is a sense now of you gaining traction that you know is in alignment with greater success than you've known before. So these are the bigger energies that are going to be speaking to you this month. However, we do have important lunar events and lunar events tend to be very much on the surface. And so I'm going to begin by talking about the full moon that happens right around the second of the month. This full moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication and conversation, documents. It is also connected to your siblings, cousins, and neighbors. So there is a beautiful alignment between this full moon and Uranus. What that tells me is surprise and what this tells me is good news for you. For some, this is going to be a sense of, yes, the information that you get, a synchronistic conversation that you have, or maybe just getting a certain letter in the mail, a contract that ends up surprising you in terms of how it is that it sets you up for improvements and blessings in your life. Now, this could also be changes taking place where it comes to a sibling, cousin, or neighbor that brings great joy all around, but ultimately may not necessarily affect you directly. It may be that these relationships do improve in surprising ways between you and these types of people, but it may also be the case that they are making moves, they are making changes, and that you are happy for them. During the course of this full moon, it may be that much easier to find the right words to say what it is that you want to say, whether you're doing that formally in terms of writing or teaching, or whether it is in terms of a spontaneous interaction you have, it would be a really good idea to set some time uh, aside to do some brainstorming, wherever it is that it matters to you, because it is going to be in that space that absolute brilliance can come forward now. As we navigate later in the month, it is going to be right around the 17th, that we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is happening in fellow earth sign Virgo, and this is a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world. It is connected to things like long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters are covered here. It also connects you to the philosophical orientation that you bring to make sense of the world around you. Now, this new moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and Pluto, as well as Jupiter. And all of these three big planets are in your sign. And this, to me, speaks very powerfully to it not just being about what's happening in one of these areas of life that I just mentioned, but how much it means to you. 
how personally you are feeling the developments taking place now. With a new moon comes new beginnings, and these are powerful, these are fortunate, these are new beginnings that ultimately set you up for long-term gains, set you up for a longer-term future, and help position you for greater power. It is transformed circumstances now that ultimately open up the world to you. So for some of you, if it is that you have the opportunity to travel, it may be that journey that ends up being deeply significant and meaningful to you, changing you in all kinds of ways that maybe you haven't anticipated, but ultimately helps align you with a greater sense of not only your personal values, but greater blessings and greater success. It can be that this new moon brings with it a chance to start fresh in some way, to feel as if you are starting a new chapter. And if it is that you are connected to an institute of higher learning, well, it may be new opportunities within that space or place that find you. If you are a student, for example, this could bring with it renewed enthusiasm for what you are studying or perhaps a whole other branch of study all together. Now, regardless of how this energy comes forward, remember there are big blessings on offer at this time. And wherever it is that you are feeling called towards, wherever it is that you are feeling that, that could be where your search for truth, your search for justice, whether that is a higher form of justice or something more personal, wherever that may take you, well, ultimately that is also where power and blessings can be found. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be the first week of this month that will have Venus continuing to move through your opposite sign. That is a beautiful placement for you. But it will be once Venus moves out of this part of the sky, about a week into the month, that she's going to move into a brand new part of the sky that isn't necessarily about partnership, but is about how it is that you are able to be vulnerable to another person. With Venus here, it has to feel real. It has to be authentic. This is about sharing of yourself more than you have before, more deeply, more intimately, but also being willing to acknowledge the truth of where your heart is. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, you will have the blessing of Venus in your opposite sign for the first days of this month. However, Venus is going to begin the month making a difficult alignment with Saturn. So it may feel a little bit like your options are limited. Of course, the universe is abundant. They are not, but it just may feel that way as you're looking at previous disappointments. Once Venus changes signs about a week into the month, well, that is going to be when there is a sincere desire to connect with another person in a more meaningful way. And you may very well get that opportunity. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I feel like this month is one of consequence and one of truth. There may be some sense of reveal, whether it is that you end up in a moment sharing more than you had anticipated, or it could be that they end up sharing more than they had anticipated. It ends up changing the dynamic in some way and perhaps changing the way that you see them or yourself with them. It is ultimately this truth that lends itself to a decision as to whether or not you feel there is a future here. For those of you who are in an established bond, the energy this month is about moving towards greater honesty, moving towards greater vulnerability. If it is that your partnership is strong, then this can be a time where you come to see each other in a way as more vulnerable and ultimately that can bond the two of you together. But if it is that perhaps the relationship may not be the right one for you, it is going to be a month like this that makes that very obvious, encouraging you to understand perhaps your own psychological dynamics that have brought you to this moment. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. But in addition to all that I spoke of, we are also going to have Mars going retrograde right around the 9th of the month, going retro at the very foundation of your chart, having to do with home 
and family of origin. And you are about to understand those past dynamics very differently than you did before. You do want to watch what is happening the day that a planet changes directions, because that is when you really see some more profound truth about where you have been and where home is for you now. Now, regardless of what insights you find, the next couple of months are going to be spent reflecting on your answers more deeply. I do think the fact that Jupiter and Saturn going direct in your sign, though, mean that you are moving forward now towards a more exciting and stable future. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.